now. This is the Vince Copley Radio Program. Live and local. On 106.3 WORD. The Upstate's talk station. It is predictable. I mean, there's praise. And uh, those of you who've expressed otherwise, I'll deal with you a little bit later on. And I think you know what I'm talking about. Let me share the positive ones while we have Milo on the line, because I, I don't want to get him uh, going down another direction. We have this. <laughs> uh, I'm a straight, white, southern, Christian, conservative, libertarian male. I'm 36. Tell Milo I appreciate his perspective and enjoy reading his writings. And this one. If we could only, we could only say screw you with Milo's accent. Uh, <laughs> Let's go back to Milo Yiannopoulos from uh, Breitbart. <laughs> Let's talk about 2016 because you're up to something pretty mischievous uh, for this year. What are you planning to do? And and I and let me just say right now, I gave people a heads up about this yesterday. I told them I'm going to have a very non-traditional guest on the broadcast. And I told them there's some of you who are going to be offended just by the very nature of who this person is. Uh, I don't care. Well, I've been on but, best behavior. I've tried to be very well behaved. Well, I'm proud of you. Proud of you, my <laughs> love. Um, but uh, tell us about your tour and what you hope to accomplish with this. I see. It's the, 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 the F word. Um, well, I'm not, it's it's not the F word you think, ladies and gents. Um, yes, so uh, I have a tour coming up next year. It's called the Dangerous Faggot Tour. Now, the reason I use this word is because nothing annoys the progressive left quite like a gay person sort of misusing the swear words. We're supposed to reclaim uh, the queer because that's apparently the sort of nice, proud thing. But faggot's still like a swear word, and nothing annoys them so much as somebody using it that they can't attack because, you know, you can't really go after a gay guy for homophobia. That's just stupid. So I like to use, you know, I believe that we should provoke and, uh, and, and challenge people at all, you know, at, all, at all junctures. And I quite like using this word. I think we should reclaim this word. Anyway, for, for free, freedom and free speech and free lover. So I've given, I've, I wrote a column saying that straight people should start using this word again, too. Um, anyway, my tour is called the Dangerous Faggot Tour. I'm going to be going all uh, across campuses in the U.S. I'm doing uh, New York, New Jersey, Ohio, um, and where else? D.C., I think, maybe, uh, January, February. I'm going to be in uh, Texas in, I think, April is the current plan, and then we're doing the West Coast towards the end of the year, and Alaska uh, as well. Now, I'm going around, I'm talking to university, uh, talking on university campuses about feminism, about the myth of the wage gap, about the myth of campus rape culture, about all of these sort of progressive feminist myths that won't die. Um, and I do these sort of like fun, provocative talks. My plan for 2016, in a nutshell, is to declare all-out war on social justice. Social justice being this, this hand-wringing progressive cult that tells you what you can and can't say, that bullies and nannies people, gets people fired because they use the wrong words, gets people fired because they have the wrong opinions. This is not something we should be doing in America. As a Brit, someone from Europe, I'm very used to watching people get language policed, having their thoughts and their language um, controlled for them by a variety of special interests, including the government. That's not what America's about. That's one of the things I love about America, is that you don't do that. So I, I've declared 2016 sort of all-out war against the people who want to control how you think and how and how you speak. So my tour is going to be on university campuses and in a few big cities. Um, you can find it at unopolis.net slash tour. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. People, you know, what's amazing is the, the coalition of people that have lined up behind cultural libertarianism, as I call it. Um, it's rappers, it's bodybuilders, it's gamers, it's, you know, conservatives, liberals. There isn't really a particular person, there isn't really a particular political orientation that is especially behind this. I think it's all of us. I think it's all of us who are sick of watching, you know, Mike, BuzzFeed, Gorka, Vox, all these terrible, hectoring, dumbass publications on the Internet, just sort of outright lie every day, publishing these terrible, skewed, nonsense stories about nothing, bullying and, 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 and coming after people for using the wrong words. We're all a bit sick of it now, and even liberals are getting sick of it. They've realized what a monster they've created on the left. I mean, the, you know, the left created Donald Trump precisely by policing people's language this carefully. It, he is the, you know, Newtonian response to, to what they did. They created him. They created me, frankly. And um, 2016 is the year that we pick up our swords and our shields and take the fight to them because they have successfully managed to get people fired. They've successfully managed to chill people into, into silence, you know, in the workplace. We now live in a world where you can get fired for telling facts. So the, what we call the Overton window, the acceptable limits of speech and discourse in the public square has been narrowed so much and pushed to the left so much 
that you can't have an honest debate about gender relations anymore. You can't discuss scientific studies without putting your job at risk if you're a man. I think that's wrong. One of the reasons that I talk so much about men's issues isn't particularly because I particularly care, because after all, I don't have a dog in the fight. But I see an entire sort of half of the species unable to tell the truth on TV for fear of losing their jobs. And we're going to fix that in 2016. We're going to fix the lies that the race baiters tell. I don't want another generation of Al Sharptons, and those people are, uh, are rising now, Netta and DeRay of the Black Lives Movement. You know, these, these are the new generation of race hucksters, and, and um, you know, I don't want that for America either. Either. I don't want the, another. I don't want a generation of feminist shakedown artists who are threatening, whether it's in video games, threatening video game studios with bad press and bad media coverage if they don't put, you know, the right number of paraplegic Armenian lesbian immigrants in their video games. I don't want these people controlling culture. I don't want these people controlling media. I want more of a balance in academia, and I want more of a balance in the entertainment industry. So that's what we're going to be doing in 2016. Milo, uh, you've certainly said a mouthful there. One of the things that's, uh, that struck me as you're talking, and again, and I've said this plenty of times uh, about people who have uh, uh, actually immigrated to the United States, you, you aren't in that category, but uh, they seem to have a better understanding about America than a lot of Americans do. And just from your experience, do you get the sense that a lot of people actually take here in America our freedom of speech for granted? Oh, absolutely. You know, the way I see America is America is a sort of highest, best, purest distillation of British values, right? Um, Britain didn't invent democracy or free speech or, you know, any of the things that make the world a nice place to live. But it spread them most successfully, more successfully than any other country around the world. And the best example of where these British values were spread is America. And America is, you know, the perfect example of a country that, you know, that cleaves so closely and so, um, so strongly to freedom, to democracy, capitalism, all of the things that make the world a nice place to live. Um, it worries me, coming from Europe, where we have started to lose those things, we're in a sort of late decadent period where there are assaults on all sides to our freedom and to, you know, and, and socialism is growing and, you know, all, the, all these you know, things that are going horribly wrong in Europe that are probably now irreversible. It isn't too late for America. And America, for me, was always the gold standard of, you know, if you wanted to go and, you, you know, you had aspiration and you wanted, you know, anything was possible, you could say what you want, do what you want, be what you want. That's the great promise of America. That's the American dream. And it... It saddens me as a European to think that America might be losing that because it takes for granted these essential treasures like free speech, which, let's remind ourselves, don't exist in most of the world. Most of the world does not have the freedoms that Americans take for granted, and that's why it's so important to protect them every day. You better believe it, and uh, so we are able to say things, as you've communicated for the past few minutes on this broadcast, and all of us can do the <laughs> same, which is what you're trying to inspire us to do. Uh, by the way, uh, a couple of quick texts here. Uh, before you go, Milo, uh, um, Milo is one of the greatest apolog uh, the apologists for the white male in America. You should share this more with your listeners. And we have, uh, you know, a couple of items, a couple of more here. This guy is absolutely awesome. This guy is fantastic. Please post a link to this site. Milo Yiannopoulos, it's been awesome Very having great. you on the broadcast, man. And uh, we'll look Thank forward to so talking much. with you again soon, all right? I'd love to come on again. Thank you for having me. And... I will also address uh, Milo's detractors and some people who are actually disappointed. I even had him on the broadcast. We're going to talk about that much more in hour number two, 800